Hey there, this is Chai Pool Tim. It's Saturday morning, October 11th, and I just got back from the beach doing some collecting. Today we're looking at some northern lamp shells. And uh, this is a really cool little creature. It resembles a clam or perhaps maybe a scallop. And it fits into a group called the brachiopods. And the way, uh, the reason it's called a lamp shell is it, uh, it hangs on the bottoms of rocks hangs down what appears by a little stalk. Let's see if you can see this. You can see that little stalk. So it hangs, looks like a light bulb hanging down off the bottom of the rock. Uh, these guys have been around since the dinosaur era and uh, at one time was probably one of the most abundant filter feeders um, in the oceans. Now the average size they range is uh, as big as this one, which is probably that's the, the great great grampy Grammy, and what is it? Perhaps a inch across, down to a very tiny quarter inch, eighth of an inch in size. But uh, these guys, what makes them different and unique uh, biologically is that they have a shell that's hinged from the top to the bottom, as opposed to a clam, which has a shell that's hinged from side to side. Now here's one that's. Uh, Oh, he just closed up. Um, you can see pretty well. And the stalk comes out of the top shell. Uh, these guys, they prefer to live in dark areas, uh, low light conditions. And what I do on, a, on the lowest draining tides during the full moon is uh, I'll find a rock pile, dig down into the bottom of the rock pile. And once I get down two or three feet um, into the rocks, I'll start to find these guys attached to the bottoms of other small boulders and pieces of ledge. But... Um, uh, these are like uh, a lot of other invertebrates in the ocean. They're uh, they're filter feeders. They uh, they spawn, broadcast spawn, and the uh, the larvae, the resulting larvae, end up just floating around in the ocean until they settle out onto the bottom. Uh, there's both males and females, and they uh, don't uh, they stay the same sex. Some invertebrates will actually change from male to female, but these guys stay same sex the entire time. Uh, they make their shells much like a clam. They secrete from a, a layer like a mantle and uh, secrete this calcium uh, uh, substance that hardens and forms their shell. A lot of times they end up attaching to other older animals. So you can see here there's some smaller lamp shells and some larger ones. Get all their oxygen right from the water and uh, just a neat little little creature and most of these went extinct during the like the Cambrian and the Triassic period and uh, this northern lamp shell is actually the only only species that we have in our cold waters here in Cobb's Cook Bay and uh, uh, in the Gulf of Maine. So anyway I uh, hope you learned a little bit about these guys. Um, I've got a scientist waiting for this batch. The uh, only other thing I didn't I guess point out is this the way the stalk comes out. The stalk's also called the pedicle, but you can see that little piece coming out of that top shell. So these guys open up their shell just a tiny bit, suck water in the side, and then spit it out of the out of the front. And they don't seem they've done studies trying to figure out who preys on lamp shells. And they've tested them with fish and crabs and other uh, other uh, predators in the ocean and they must have the scientists have figured out they must have uh, sort of not a very taste very good taste to them because they uh, they seem to shy away from them I don't know if it's a chemical or what it is that they put out anyway uh, a little bit about northern lamp shells if you like uh, don't forget if you like what I'm doing here trying to get some information out about marine life Subscribe to the Tidepool Tim YouTube channel. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good day.